so um yes so anyone to share for us as is getting ready what they learned last week from every single thing that was said people online you can just send a message in the group i would read it for you Oh, tell me you want to start. Okay. Uh, can you hear? Me? Can you guys hear Tambe? You can't want hear to? him. Want to? Huh? Want to? You can hear him now. Mm-hmm. Okay, Tambe. Uh, last week I learned about. The kingdom. You talked about the kingdom, and one thing that stood out to me was that when you said that um, we need to we need to learn to stand out things like if you don't want if you are not happy about something that's happening, you mm. have to stand out and pray about it. Mm. Basically, just standing up. Mm. And yes. Amen. That is very important. Amen. Anyone else wants to share what they learned? I'm going to share. Um, This mic, it can't be heard. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Last week, uh, we were discussing the kingdom of God, and we... um, we were given uh, the scripture, Psalms 145, uh, from verse 1 up to 21. Then, when I was going through the scripture, um, or oh, I could, uh, like, according to my understanding, everything that I was reading was about, uh, like you said, the nature of God, um, and everything about Him. Uh, for example, it spoke about uh, our God being a merciful God, uh, a loving Father, and a forgiving God. Everything about about Him uh, being perfect and the things that He can do for um, for mankind. Uh-huh. Then I also remember we spoke about uh, that which. Uh, is uh, in the kingdom of God that one would like to is it to to bring out mm. to the world well, that was the the question right mm. like that yeah. which is of the kingdom of God yeah that you would want to manifest yeah yeah uh, where we spoke mainly it was about love uh, wisdom kindness and uh, yeah okay. those are some of the examples I can remember Amen. 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 Okay. Anyone online wants to share? Yes, anyone online who wants to share? Um, let's see. Toko on a mess up in. I believe Madam Secretary was. Was were you here, Madam Secretary? If you want to share, maybe you know the Lord spoke to you in your dream, and He told you what was happening in discipleship class. Anyone here who wants to share? Hi, Tinashe. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Hi, Carla. I hope you're fine. Hmm. Okay, I believe no one or someone is typing or they want to speak, but it's fine. Amen. So, um, 
how many of us went back to read Psalms 145? You can show your hand. <laughs> Are you raising your hand? You're shy? Or what is happening, guys? <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay. You didn't read all of it. That's why your hand is. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but you read some of it. Wait, those who read, raise your hand again. Okay. <laughs> you guys should choose a representative to share w something. Ryan. Okay. They all chose you. <laughs> hey? Please give him the mic. If I remember very well, um, I'm just supposed to say an actual verse or anything, anything. something you got from the verse. Oh, um, the whole chapter uh, to me, I think it was talking about how, because um, I remember when it, this time when I was praying, it was about how all men, how can I say it? Wait, the goodness of God, right? And his uh his deeds, how uh it is to like it's a kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. So it has come to a point whereby his 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 goodness it's not limited to a day or it's not limited to a certain instinct. It's like until eternity, man has to always be speaking about the deeds of God, like his goodness, the way he does his things, the way he is good in everything. Wait. It's <laughs> it's like the words are running away, but um, <coughs> for me it was I think the, I, I I remember just basically uh, the works of God, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's it. I think I don't remember very much. Mm. Amen. Anyone else wants to share? Oh, Tina share. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, I actually don't know what to say. I just stretched my head because I saw the mic was hanging. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, kind of on the on the same point that he's talking about. There's there's a verse between three, four, and five where it talks about how men, some men, will testify of the terrible works of God, and how I shall testify of the goodness of God. That that shows me the different natures of God based off of um, your relationship with God. If you are in good terms with God, you receive the good hand of God. But if you are a hooligan, you receive the back hand of God. Um, same way we had Pharaoh, the Egyptians, working against the Israelites who were in favor of God, who were in good books with God, who were God's chosen people. Those men who always stand and speak of the goodness of God, but the ones that were against them will always speak of the terrible nature of the the God of the Israelites. So, yeah, that's what I, I got from it. That you can never be lukewarm like what you said, hot mm. or cold. Yeah. Amen. God bless you for sharing. Okay, amen. So um, today we are going to be... Marvin, you want to speak? Oh, Ash, Marvin or Ash, one of you, any of you can speak. Amen. Amen. Um, when I was just going through the chapter, um, I just found that uh, God is so merciful, God is so compassionate, um, there's nothing in the kingdom that you would have done 
that when you go back to God, He cannot forgive. And um, one of the most important things as well that the chapter talks about is how we ought to be a people that fear God. The goodness of God is there. The blessings of God are there in the kingdom. But then we should be a people that are pure, holy, in that respect and fear God. Amen. Amen. Yes, woman of God. Amen. We thank the Lord. I'm just going to touch on um, verse 5, the latter part of it, which says that, and I'll meditate on your wonderful works. So one thing that I've seen is that meditation, it helps us to know more about the nature of God. It's one thing for God to take you out of Egypt, to pass the Red Sea, and then you tell of his wonderful works, but then without meditating upon it, you can just take it for granted. And when you look across the Bible, everybody who the Lord revived, an example is Hannah. After she had a baby, she sang a song unto the Lord. And I take that as meditation. When you actually let what God has done get deep into your veins. And we also have um, Miriam and I think Moses, after they came out of the Red Sea, they literally sang a song unto the Lord. So I take that as a form of meditation and telling of his wonderful works, whereby you make sure that what God has done for you really digs down into your heart. And also we have that lady, uh, Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, she was in a place of wonder and she was meditating upon his work. So whenever God does something in our lives today, I think it's so good for us to say, oh God, you provided food for me today. Like you really did that. And then we just meditate deeply upon it. Mm -hmm. in, the, in a way, it actually helps us to learn more of his ways and to learn more about his nature. And when you know that God has done it and it's inside of your soul, and your spirit, nobody can take it away from you. So I think there's really, actually, I don't think, but I know there's power in meditation. Amen. Amen. There's power in meditation. Amen. Uh, so today we're going to speak about membership. So there's a white board, right? <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm going to write on it, but I was given an instruction to draw something. So I have a picture in my head. Okay, so I have a picture in my head, but guys, my drawing is not that good, but this is the thing. It's not about the drawing. It's about the message behind the drawing. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to be speaking about membership. And um, when we talk about membership, what comes to your mind? Is it like a member in a ship? Like a literal ship? Yes. Um, call it. Please use the mic. Whenever I come across the word membership, mm -hmm. what comes in my mind is belonging. Belonging. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's, 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 I feel like he has literally nailed it. So belonging. Amen. So he said, um, don't mind my handwriting. Okay. I've been using books. So, um, excuse you. <laughs> I represent the doctors very well. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to be drawing, and then you tell me the parts that I'm missing. I hope those online can see what I'm drawing, right? Okay, so. Um. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come out how I thought. <laughs> what I thought, <laughs> what I thought in my head. Okay, fine, fine. Um. No. Guys, I have an image in my head. It's not coming out. Wait. <laughs> Guys. Who is laughing?
so the hair is an afro hair so it could probably be like very round and like yes with curls yes then so then we have the neck we have the shoulders can they see <coughs> so these are some cheek this is the cheekbone mm? this is very important these are dimples and this is the cheekbone okay so this is the neck then um this is the neck the shoulders then we have the ham the arms <laughs> I hear you guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> ah, it's too much weight. Guys. Hmm. <laughs> so they are wearing a belt. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. The belt says God. Then they have like a t-shirt on, right? Yes, that's the color. <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> and it says um um it says image of God. Guys, I can literally hear you. Fine. Then, this is the trouser. <laughs> Guys, these are the feet. If you can see, he's got really small shoes. Am I missing anything? Oh, he has fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay <coughs> so this is it can you see or like shoot can you guys see i mean how does my drawing look do not be sarcastic give an honest you can understand you understand that these are the ears am i missing anything The shoes are there. No, I should have written revival. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the it's a short sleeve. <coughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Amen. So membership membership um colin said that it to him he understood it as belonging belonging now when we the other thing about membership um is commitment <laughs> someone says subscription <laughs> now you are committed to two things as a believer. You are committed to Christ. And you are committed to a group of believers. Amen. So, um, all of this. Right? Now, this but from this angle. Is the head of the church. And from this part is the body. Amen. Now um when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, um we then make that conscious decision of being committed to him. Amen. 
that is why the bible tells us to work out our salvation meaning that it's not just it doesn't just um uh start day it starts there but it doesn't end there it continues meaning that god will be counting on your commitment god will be counting on your faithfulness um i think for people that um regularly evangelize to people they do this thing of going for like regular checkup or they check up on the people these checkups are so are to find out from the people how they are doing how they are doing with god how things are going now membership we are all members of the body of christ with of of the church with christ being the head now one thing that god was communicating to me is the fact that in the head you have the brain in the head that's where your thought process is in the head is where they we sometimes say that that is the battlefield where you think about a lot of things and whatever you think about in your head you eventually say it out of your mouth amen now the head and the heart are connected that is why we give the heart is the core part of the body of Christ and when the heart of the body of Christ is given of the body of the church is given to Christ every single thing has been affected because it's out of the core that every single thing every single part is um functions and every single part gets its nutrient gets what it needs so um from simple biology you know that the heart it gives oxygenated and deoxygenated blood meaning that um it sends it sends oxygen to parts of the body that that are needed and then it takes um blood that is not needed back to the heart so that it will be filtered so when you give your heart to god there's there's a filter there is a change and the, your heart is connected to your mind and when it's connected every single thing that you say every single thing that you do has to be like christ so if your actions are not depicting things like christ check your heart amen check who is the lord of your life check who is the lord in that head of yours i'm not trying to insult it but i'm just trying to say you really need to check because these are things that are very important so membership now when you are a member of the body of christ uh so let's say that ashley is the feet because she likes wearing heels so the feet that <laughs> um let's see uh <coughs> hey <laughs> let's say that uh the ea is in kosi because she's the secretary so every announcement and things like that <laughs> she needs to hear stuff and like that like that <laughs> <laughs> yes then let's say that the eyes right is puri the head of the media department because they have to do with the visuals and stuff like that mm. let's see mm. the hand right let's say one of the fingers every finger is everyone in the theater department so they do a lot of acting you know gestures <laughs> body language <laughs> guys you get what i'm saying now let's say this part this is the neck right in the neck let's say it has the vocal cords so we have toko and the choir leaders and like the different parts the instrumentalist mm yes and yes 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 um let's see anyway but the point is that um if we want to i think one thing i was <laughs> i was going to cook rice in the kitchen right and god was speaking about the way we are people that fulfill scripture every single thing that is said in the word of god doesn't it's not theory to us there are things that we experience now christ says that um I came to die for the church. I loved it so then I died for it. The only way that we can be the church is when we are together and not separate. 
amen it's when we are together and not separate the the reason is because we all represent a body a, a different part of the body of christ amen a different part of the body of christ so um i know tinashe could be the shoulders color could be the 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 the, the legs <laughs> guys could be the legs uh or the gladys could be the cheeks because she likes to smile mm. collins could be the nose because he can smell like what is coming from afar <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tinashe should be the head because of his hairstyles. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? It is well. So, um each and every part of the body we can't call this the body you just can't call the hand the body it has to be collective to be termed the body amen and that helps you it makes us understand that even as believers you may leave when joy you may go back home you need to find a group of believers a group of believers a place where you would call home a place where you will belong a place where you can commit not only to christ but then to a group of um, believers amen this is very important because you'll be fulfilling scripture you'll be doing what god has called you to do i mean the only way we can see people probably play the instrument or use um their media skills or maybe their their confidence skills is in the church is when they are in a among a group of believers because in that we need in that there is an equipping by using the gifts that god has given to you there is an equipment of the saints amen because god has given each and every one of us something to input into the body of christ and be it you come to you are on zoom or be it, um when we were having physical meetings you just uh sit on the on the bench and stuff like that whatever happens you still have a role to play if you were not sitting in the bench the one who's come to speak would just speak to the chairs and then what happens amen so we all have a role to play and we have a place to belong so being a christian is not about just believing it goes beyond believing but then it also goes to <coughs> belonging it goes to being in a place being in a place where um you are led to be in amen you are led to be in. um probably some of us um are in this fellowship and also have like other fellowships that we are joining like i think someone she she joins upper room dallas <coughs> she knows herself but you know she follows them very much and that speaks about your commitment where you are not lacking in one place you are everywhere and you do that because you understand this is this is this is it guys you coming to church doesn't have to do with me it has to do with your service to god it has to do with your commitment to god so because this is the thing jesus was speaking to his disciples and he said that um i think i said it last week he was explaining to them why they how they didn't do um some things to him when he was in need the only way to show your love to christ is by showing your love to the people within now if god says that <coughs> go out into the world right let's say that this is the globe sorry it's not a really nice globe but let's say this is the globe and you are here and this is your community now christ says go out to the world everything starts at home you your interaction the building up your growing it all has to do with here before you can go out to different parts of the of the world different parts of the world wherever the lord sends you to amen before you can do that even um the virtues that god tells us to develop things like patience things like um long suffering things like self control you need people around you to grow that amen if i do not i mean i can't say that 
I am patient if my patience hasn't been tested. Probably I'm in the church and I should really test my patience. It gets to the peak and I'm like, you know what, God? I know I am patient, but what Tinashe is doing, um, it is well. <laughs> Amen. So it's important for us to understand we are members of the body of Christ. And as a member, you have a role to play. You have a role to play. And as a member, your commitment is important. Your commitment is important. And God puts these things down. God sees these things. There are times where we might be committed or we we might be going to stuff every single time. But then we also need to look at the motives of our heart. Are you going the I think um back at home when uh like so I was in a boarding school that takes us to um the church that the the headmistress and we call them proprietor and proprietress they they attend so there'll be a bus that will take us to their church and <laughs> some of the reasons why like people who go to church like they look really nice is to just you know um get there and after church closes they're just really like rushing <laughs> rushing the guys <laughs> hey but and i think it was something that was sort of like trending among the youth where when a man even wants to now settle down he goes to the church to go and look for a wife because he believes in the church they are very godly women so then <laughs> Piri, do you have a story to tell? <laughs> Why are you coughing? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. In agreement. In agreement. Mm. Is that the Zambian way? Mm. Mm. Okay. So then, um, there were times where people would just go there for that reason and their heart is not in the place. They are not doing things for God um they are doing things for themselves amen you having a place where you belong you having a place where you commit to um it removes that element of self-isolation i know that we have been on like lockdown for a while and we've been having services on zoom and it takes a lot to literally commit to that because even sometimes you would have classes online and you put it on and you are sitting down and you're just like you're gone it just you were just hit like that by sleep and you're gone and the only thing you hear is class has ended and you're like mm. <laughs> and these are things that we need to get to that extent of discipline where we we are still committed to what is happening um in the community where we find ourselves in the community wh where we find ourselves one very very other thing is we membership gives us um it gives us that sense of connection uh connection in the sense that you are connected to the source of it all along with the along with um the group of believers amen fellowshipping together with the group of believers so there was uh, there was a book that i was reading about anointing and it spoke about corporate anointing and it's explained the way corporate anointing has some very significant impact in your life and the way we take co um corporate meeting sometimes lightly and we casually ignore it because um i don't know i've got used to this and now i have to go meet physically and stuff like that but these are things that we cannot just casually ignore i mean these are things that w if you feel that you have drawn away if you feel like you are unable to really be the go with someone i think um D the announcement that was sent he said grab someone like literally grab them 
and not by force but then you know go to them every single time tell them oh we are having this we are having cell group we are having this and that are you coming let's go i mean <laughs> i think there 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 have been times where i had to speak to people to like come and then do not come and i i feel very like so hurt i'm like <laughs> And then I told them again I was like you know what I know what you did to me the last time you ran away this time I'm coming with you then you're like no 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 go ahead I'll come I'll come <laughs> But this is the thing you try I mean you try Now going to the church the church is not an organization I mean I was reading something it said I'm sorry. So the church it's not an organization. I mean not this way the organization. So it's not. But it is an org what an organism the church it's not a building but it is a what a what say it confidently like you believe in Christ oh my god say it <laughs> it is a body amen now one thing i mean I, i was thinking about it and the church needs to be alive the church needs to be burning for god the church needs to be active why because the world that we live in is very loud the voice is in the in the world is very loud now the church is god's instrument on earth i mean each and every one of us are god's instrument on earth and when we come together we are stronger than ever i mean when we come together we are stronger than ever now when we look at an organism You guys the drawing is nice ka I'm not <laughs> Guys I did not destroy <laughs> <laughs> Guys I'm sorry hmm? Yes please man of god see this is the we are one together as you guys are looking there's someone cleaning there's someone writing there's someone talking there's someone listening you know mm Pee-wee is trying to show us that he's got the muscles to do these things because he has a subscription at the gym membership card <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry Pee-wee, i'm sorry don't clean this part Thank you. Yes. That's the theater. Ah. Uh, okay. So an organism, right? Now, it starts with a cell. I'm sure you guys have done biology, right? <laughs> a tissue what is possible an organ an organ um an organ system and then an organism so um 
this is just to help with just to give us a foundation on um understanding this now the cell is the very very most important part of an organ amen the basic unit of every single thing now a combination of cells then makes a tissue a combination of a combination of tissues then makes an organ a combination of organs then makes an organ system and together it makes an organism now one thing you also need to understand is responsibility responsibility you have a responsibility to play in every season it's not the same responsibility it's not the same tax that it's given to us now um the cell has a role to play for it to then come together to be this one thing you see is unity and togetherness unity and togetherness i want us to open efficient <coughs> efficient two I think I, I wrote it in my phone. Ephesians, sorry, Ephesians 5, verse 23. Then um, someone read Ephesians 2, open Ephesians 2. Is someone the Ephesians five twenty three? Is someone there? You can give them the mic. Ephesians five twenty three. Mm -hmm. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Amen. So Christ is the head of the church as the husband is the head of the wife so that also speaks of order so we see the head we see then going down to the neck the shoulders the the arms it speaks of order god is a god of order and that is why in the body of christ or in the church or in the fellowship that you may be in they or we are in their leaders and there are then um people that we go to when we have issues there are people that god um ordains to be shepherds to be people that would lead um his flock that doesn't mean that um when you are not called to be a leader you don't have a responsibility to play i think one one very common african mentality is the fact that the leader should be the ones doing every single thing and when everything happens we blame the leaders we blame the leaders every single time that the leaders are not doing this the leaders are not helping us the leaders are not doing this and that but then as citizens of um the country there are things that we also need to do there are things that we ne also need to do if the leaders are not doing it we don't just um sit down if the leaders are not doing it it doesn't mean that you should rise and have a coup d'etat and take the leader out of there there is a reason why god put the leaders there that's why it's also important that we also pray for our country leaders even as you're in china the things that are going on in your country it's not good to be to not know what is really happening amen even though you are in a foreign country i mean there's a reason why god just picked us from different places and brought us here one thing you see is um is the idea of difference if we do not have if we do not have different nationalities we have different personalities if you don't have different personalities we have different characters if we do not have different characters we have different perspectives now difference is not um 
it's not a way that it's not something that restricts god god acknowledges difference he acknowledges diversity that he looks at diversity and he is able to know that in all that diversity there are also different purposes amen there are different purposes there are different purposes so being a member of the body of christ we all know that we are members right or you need a membership card saying that i tinashe benson katakwa <laughs> katakwa <laughs> is that easy? i'm sorry i am a member of the wendry international christian fellowship and i'm serving in this department <laughs> and uh, my membership card would expire after um, um, i don't know four years <laughs> this is the thing we are members of the body of christ be it we have a membership card or a subscription we are members of the body of christ amen now the church exists for eternity that helps you understand that when you even leave this fellowship there are people that are going to come there are people that are going to come and when you pass through this fellowship you do not pass through it to break it but you pass through it to add to the building of the church amen there were people that built on what we are standing on that helps you understand right the other thing probably in my country is the fact that there will be a leader that will build let's say that he builds a and then he is being elected he build b building on what he had then later on he's not elected the other leader will look at what he has done and come and start building his own but this is the thing sometimes they build on what has been done or they even leave this side and come here look for a new land a fresh place and build their own meanwhile this is not complete this is not complete what we do as the body of christ is to complete each other what we do we do not compete with each other but then we complete so within the space of time that you are here that i mean people you know that are here you do not do do not use that as a form of breaking down what has been built the lord is the god of justice he will deal with you amen he will deal with you and no one wants to experience the wrath of god even the israelites just the presence of god was at the mountain and they, they were at the tip and they were shaking and all and then they were like moses no we do not want to speak to god but then you speak to god on our behalf they lost that um that very thing that they could have that closeness that communion with god that communion with god now the only way that um membership leads to connection is when we are also aware of our identity in christ now if if someone is the head of something it's not like they they detect to you that is not who the holy spirit is amen that is not who the holy spirit is he is that one person that would definitely want to partner with you with everything that we do he would want to partner with us so you are a member of the f- of, of of the church of, of the body of christ and as the body of christ one thing i want you to ask yourself which part am i and what role do i play in this very season in this very season probably post covid or middle covid or pre covid what role do i play what role do i play in the place where i find myself what role do i play god has not geographically placed you in this place within this space at this very time for just nothing 
he is a god that is intentional about the things he does very intentional very very intentional and for the fact that he does things with intention if you want to also um be like him we need to do things with intention with intention so this is going to be this is going to be like <laughs> it's going to be a funny question but what part of the body do you think you are look at yourself look at your life look at your personality what part of the body of christ do you think you are it's just you guessing we start from tinashe i'm serious from tinashe yes man of god People of God online, you can also let us know which part of the body you think you are. Think. Divine speed. An answer next week. Ah. Which part of the body do you think you are? The way you are looking. Which part of the body is rigid? <laughs> Should we give you a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> the mouth. The mouth. I think I'm the mouth. Why? You state and you give your reason. Uh, you're telling me now. <laughs> so <I should> guess. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a reason why you said the mouth. Uh because you talk a lot or <laughs> um i believe everything that i i do from the way i think the way i reason and the way i carry out things is from is is an expression of god's own word be it the, the written or spoken word <laughs> why are you smiling <laughs> because when you sent the picture of my drawing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there is a picture <laughs> that is so <laughs> you know what's good oh my god but it's yeah, not nice the, vo- the, vo- the mouth the mouth because i express the voice mm. amen because you express the voice because i express the voice so the your hair color expresses what of god the diversity of God. <laughs> <laughs> I see you nailed it. <laughs> you know what? The next person. <laughs> the next person. So that was. Uh, hey, this is a bit difficult for me because <laughs> there are a lot of things that I know that I'm gifted in. Mm. but some of it i'm not even doing it like in mm. this time so i would like to think of myself as the backbone the of backbone of the church of uh, christ so like the spinal cord exactly the central nervous system mm, central yeah. nervous system yeah. mm. so medical doctors okay yes woman of god wait why did we jump oh, no she's speaking Guys, there's order in the house of God. Uh-uh. <laughs> Give it to the woman of God to speak first. Then you can speak. <sighs> Actually, I don't know. But I think... I think I'm the hands. The hands? Yeah. Why? I, lo- I love doing things. Mm my hands like you perform learning. wonders with your hands kind of yeah <laughs> okay that's good yes if there was an option not to answer i wasn't going to answer i was going to leave a blank space <laughs> amen <laughs> i think uh, for me at um i'm still discovering who exactly god has called me to be because it turns out to be changing in every season mm. who i was last week even to yesterday might not be how I'm functioning today. So I'm in the process of just leaning on the Holy Spirit and getting to know. 
But in this season, I feel like I'm. Amen. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, give an answer. Amen. God be praised. Huh. Guys, is this fair? It's not fair, Ash. Amen. You could be the ears. Hmm? Don't you outreach to people? You hear a lot of things. Anyway. You are just guessing. Honestly, guys, this is so difficult for me to pick one. So you are what? The whole body? That (laughs) sounds selfish, but more like it. (laughs) Okay. That's okay. Yes, Marvin. No. You, then Piri, then Colin, then Tambe. Uh, I think I'm just I'm just moving in the body of Christ. Uh uh-uh. uh, you see what is happening because Ashley started this trend. It's going no man of God say yes. Mm-hmm. Honestly, um, I believe. Hey, I keep discovering new things every time, uh, but <laughs> for now, I believe I am the hands. Mm. Yes, because a lot of things, uh, or me being in the body of Christ is working through, it's flowing through the hands. So, mm. yeah, I'll mention that one. Amen. Yes, Piri. <laughs> um, I would probably say... It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'll probably say the. I think hands has been no hands has been said um, too much. No, 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 no. I would say maybe the neck. The neck. Yeah. Why? Um. I'll I'll just give um an illustration Mm. when it comes to um like the the departmental duties that um my department and I have been carrying out. Yeah, we we basically um, ha- have to be in a lot of meetings. So yeah, we we have to carry the service online. So like your and connection. And in person. Oh. So okay. yeah. Okay. Hmm. People online. Which part of the body are you? Mm. I'm the ligaments. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ligaments. Ah, uh, but uh, it's it's tough to tell. I I still don't know. But I'm part of the body. Okay. Mm. Um. Okay. Uh. Toko says she's the heart. The heart. Okay. Um, Wenjo ICF online chases ligament. Wenjo ICF chases the blood. <laughs> okay. And Ona says she's the mind. Hmm. Yes. In this very season, I'm the ear. Mm. Yeah, the hands and the ear. Yes. Amen. Hey, you <laughs> have another one, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Amen. So, um, now the reason why me, um, let's see. I would say I'm the. I'm the teeth. I chew. <laughs> See, guys, if I don't chew, the body will not get what it needs. When it passes through my mouth and I chew and I it's a bone, I can crush it. So it's been crushed, then it goes down, you know? Yeah, you understand. This is what <laughs> oh my god but um 
Yeah. Yeah. I think when Tina she was speaking, I I thought of the teeth, and I would I would also say probably um in in this season um uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I would say I'm the mouth. The mouth that doesn't speak, but it prays. So, um, yeah. So for Tinashe, also the mouth that intercedes. For Tinashe is the mouth that speaks the voice of God, but I'll say mine is the mouth that intercedes. Amen. Um. So the the reason why I was I I made us do this is um to jog your mind or jog your brain on what exactly god is saying about you in the church so we have been saying for the longest time that um work on your personal relationship with god amen as that is important also your commitment to the church is also important amen it's not like one is less than the other it's the same way we could be we will just um explain and say that every part of the body is important now when part one part of the body is not working um we have a role to play let's say that um we see that the feet are not working it affects each and every one of us that is how much we need to be unified in the spirit that's how much we need to be unified as one so um there was something that i read that was speaking by rick warren and he was speaking about the fact that the phrase mind mind your own business is not a christian phrase we are actually supposed to mind your business too because you are part of the body of christ amen so and the thing is um as believers we get to that point where let's say the hand is not working and let's say that the hand wants to cut itself from the body of Christ and it's going down and down and it's dying we look at it and we judge instead of looking at it and and we judge and when let's say we we try to send signals to the hand um through our communication with it we all we do is send the hand far and far away because we rebuke we condemn that is not our responsibility i think there was one book that i was also reading that was speaking about the fact that the holy spirit is the one who is responsible for condemning a believer you are not you are not the holy spirit residing in someone is responsible for convicting he's responsible for condemning now we need to reach out to people out of love bring them in out of love do not do that in a harsh way do that with wisdom with wisdom i think uh those those this there was this video that i saw and it was it explained there was this woman who was passing by and the guy was washing and he just um threw the water but he didn't see her and the water touched her <laughs> so what this woman did she got angry she got upset then she took the bucket that the guy had they imported it on him now later on um they were going to evangelize and they were divided into two groups so she and a sister in christ went to a particular um direction and the pastor and one of the sisters also went to a particular direction so they were done evangelizing to the people then um they called them to say where were they and they said they should come to the other side of the street so the person was an unbeliever and when he heard the word he was like oh then i really want to um really um follow this person that came to die for me without me even knowing now the lady approaches and the man is like ah so this is <laughs> these are the people you fellowship with this is the god <laughs> this woman is part 
of your fellowship, then I won't. And one thing you see that a soul was lost because of your personal life out of the church. Out of the four corners of the church. In the four corners of the church, you speak tongues like no one else. But then outside the four corners of the church, your lifestyle is not in line with what the Bible is saying. People are watching. You don't think people are watching, but people are really watching. From their balcony. <laughs> they could see, they could observe and not see anything. You might not even hear it. And later on in the future, you'd hear stuff that people say that, oh, I saw the way this person was living their life and I really felt convicted. I really felt led to, to God. I really felt that I really needed to move closer to God. Amen. As a member of the church, you have a role to play. There are times where um, we are members of the body of Christ and we also try to hide the, 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 the wounds or the messes in the church. We are not meant to expose it out there. If there is something that is wrong, make sure that you go to speak to the right people. Don't speak to people that do not um do not even help in any way. Before you even speak to anyone, speak to the Holy Spirit about it. If he gives you an instruction to probably pray about it, gives you an instruction to let the person know that is fine. But then pray about it. The only way to know how to get to probably Ryan is to let the Holy Spirit know. And let the Holy Spirit direct you on what to do. You may be probably that person who just like you are on good terms with Ryan and you guys joke and all of that. And it, probably the way you want to go say it is you want to go say it in a joking manner. But then the Holy Spirit gives you an instruction of how you should go, you should go about it to attend to, to make sure that you attend to whatever is going on in Ryan's life. Amen. So we all have a role to play. We all have a role to play. When you see that things are not going on in someone's life, if you are able to help out, you do that. It all starts from within before we go out there. This might probably be the only place that you might have a group of people to even love, a group of people to show kindness to, a group of people to for God to test your, pa your patience on. And then you go out there and... You might not, it's not like you, you intentionally do it, but then there are times where you, you get um, so busy that all the things that you did in the past are, are the things that hold you on in the present. Amen. I've seen people go back home and like things are very tough for them, but then every single seed that they sowed here in the fellowship while they were here, while they were studying is now holding on to them those are the things that they are holding on to because those are the things that they need they may not have what we have right now but then they the, they took that responsibility to do what they had to do in that particular season at that particular time and now that is what they are holding on to i mean think about it right now we are students i think i was yesterday i was uh, yesterday was sunday yeah i was thinking about it and i was like i mean all the people that i've seen go back home and our doctors are so busy and their weekends i use them like my god will i really want to give my weekend away and just because i need to de develop that opportunity or what god has given to me how then do i hold on to what god has given to me i have this time right now as a student to then go deeper into the word of god learn more about it these are things that you are literally pillars and these are things that are foundations these are things that are seeds that we saw right now we do not see the harvest um right now but then in the future we will i think i i was i was looking at my brother's status and he was speaking about the fact that um we shouldn't be concerned about like the harvest each day but be careful of the seeds that you plant be careful of the seeds that you plant. Whatever <laughs> the Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you sow this God, you will reap it. 
whatever you shall sow, you shall reap. Amen. So you are a member of the body of Christ. You are a member of the body of Christ. It represents your identity. You belong to the body of Christ. So you are a Christian. It stands for your commitment. You do not only believe in Christ, but you also belong. Amen. It also speaks about your connection. You are connected to Christ. You are connected to Christ. And it represents your responsibility. Now, it's through our... Oh, yeah, there was something that I wanted to say um, about we about this thing where believers people like to hop from one fellowship to the other this is because we feel like the fellowship we may be in may be full of imperfect people i mean if god loved imperfect sinners who are you not to and we could literally go all around trying to look for people that are perfect and <laughs> we won't find that we won't find that at all we won't find that at all one thing i've come to understand is that we are not perfect but we strive to perfection we are not holy but we strive to be holy just as he is so you might be in a fellowship that has that it's the morality level is high it's so high <laughs> it's really high but you don't just stand there and expose the church you also don't stand there and try to cover up for it what you stand is you ask the holy spirit what do i have to do do i have to pray do i have to intercede do I probably have to advise or give a suggestion? What do I have to do? What role do I have to play? Amen. I, you need to love those people the way they are. The way that they are. And I feel like that's, that's one thing that I was very, I was very on, um, unsettled about. Because back at home, like, ministry, I feel like ministry was so hard hard in the sense that the people that you are even serving make it hard for you they really make it hard for you and even in all of that you need to love those people that is where you see that your love for god is tested so much yeah you love god but then do you love the people that are doing you wrong do you love the people that are talking behind your back you could love the people that love you too but then it's automatic they love you too but then when you get to love the people that do not love you the people that will say things in your face the people that spat on jesus they said they insulted him they said crucify him he he healed these people he <coughs> guys try to be in christ's shoes and at the end they decided to crucify you but then he had the understanding that that was for a purpose. One thing you see is that Jesus didn't act or say anything. There were points where he was questioned and he didn't say anything. All because of purpose. All because of purpose. Because it was for a particular purpose. When your life is purpose related, there are things you won't do. There are things you won't entertain you won't really tolerate because you know where you're going to you know what god has said you don't have to tolerate them there are things if your if your life is purpose related there are things you will correct there are things you work on there are things you'll be disciplined about there are things you'll be committed to because you know what god has for you you know what god has for you amen you know what god has for you being part of the body of christ also helps us nature and grow it helps us nature and grow from things like cell groups you going to cell group having that authentic um connection with people where there's a one-to-one -one connection you can ask all the questions that you have i mean i'm one type of person who likes to ask like questions there are times where i could be quiet but then there are times where i would ask questions i'm not asking questions in the sense to um what do you call it 
what is the word guys the word came <laughs> ah guys the word <laughs> no i'm not i'm not speaking to like i'm not asking questions to no like you know the way you ask questions and someone not mock but then the person feels like they um yes something like that it's not to be attacked but then it's to yes exactly but then the thing is also to make things very bare in such a sense that um someone who leaves the place or i when i leave the place i know what i have to do from that meeting that i've gone to where i, I didn't just go to the meeting it passed my ear and it went out but then i know that okay this is what has been said in this meeting or we spoke about newness and stuff like that so then i know that okay these are the things that i need to work on oh i went for sunday service and this was what was said so then what then do i do in my life to put this into practice so sometimes we get questions from people or sometimes people correct us i think um uh, i think there was um a time during like one of the meetings that i had and then someone came to me and then they were like so v this and this and that and then i was like okay so i thought about it and this is the thing one thing i realized is that you need that brother or sister in the body of christ to be your mirror to show you what you're not doing right to tell you what you are doing okay to tell you what needs to be done it's also through being in a fellowship that people are able to the lord drops a word in people's hearts and they are able to communicate to you about it it might not be um it might not be things that you may know or what god probably you want clarity on but it's all the idea of membership it's all the idea of being in a place where you are connected to what god is doing the amazing things that are being birthed in corporate um, meetings that the bible tells us not to forsake the gathering of the saints because it's important the bible says that um where two or more are they are at where two or more are i am in their midst and even in this place, okay and even in this place where we are just speaking there are a lot of things that the holy spirit is doing there are a lot of things that the holy spirit is working on amen there are a lot of things that the holy spirit is working on now so being being disciples of christ being members of um the fellowship or being members of uh this discipleship class what do you have to share it is a question <laughs> i'm saying being members of discipleship class what do you have to share now when when you are a member there is learning there is sharing and there is impacting where you are influenced what on or by what god says in each and every person's life where you are encouraged by the testimonies that are uh, that are shared where you are being uplifted by someone's experience or by what someone went through amen and these things are there to let you know that god is alive god is still living amen god is alive and god is still living there will be times where god will tell us to take a step back from um from um corporate meetings because he knows that there's something that you need to work on personally but then when you then are able to work on it make sure that you get back to that commitment that you have to that fellowship to that group that you have amen because all of these things are to god 
honestly they are so to god that sometimes i feel like people feel like oh like this person did this thing to me so then um i can't really be there and i can't because this person hurt me this leader did something and i went to church and they said something and i feel like they were talking about me because like guys i mean i was in my room and i was thinking about the word of god and the way the bible says that it pierces it moves through bone and marrow through bone and marrow it's a double-edged sword and then i was thinking about it so then if the word of god is not piercing me then something is wrong then i'm probably not opening my heart to listen to it then probably i am not receiving the word of god because it's coming right from the word of god if i read the word of god and i do not huh anyway but it all has to do with us you make that choice to be committed to christ you make that choice to be committed to um that group of believers now my question was um as a member of discipleship class what do you have to share since in the membership there's learning there's sharing there's whatnot there's also accountability oh yo yo oh my god and i feel like um there have been a lot of people in this fellowship that um have been very great um accountability partners where like i think there was a time where where my facial expression was like was a serious problem because i mean i don't see my face i don't see what i'm doing and i honestly can't hide like i will express it the way it should be <laughs> and sometimes it's not it's not the right way to do things and i'll just have people tell me that look at stop what they're doing like i mean there were times where i would just i really sit there and i'm just gone like i was smiling huh. except if i'm triggered by something but i'll be smiling and then i'm just gone and i'm i, I don't know what i am but i am not what you saw me before <laughs> and there are people that would let me know that v mm, do you see your face i'm like what is happening and i don't know what's happening accountability partners accountability partners amen so as members of the discipleship class what do you have to share people online we we can hear you do you have anything to share anything you want to say anything you want to say Yes, anything anyone wants to say? Amen. You guys don't have anything to say? Someone sign it up? <laughs> guys, so I have a question for you, right? Now, if we say that the church is the organi the organism, right? And let's say that the organ system is a department, right? And let's say that the cell is a cell group. <laughs> no, wait. Yes, no, wait, no. <laughs> let's say the organism is the church. This is simple. It's not simple, but it should come by revelation and the organ is the organ system is a department then every department um welfare outreach theater choir all of that it adds up to be the organism what then is the cell what then is the tissue what then is the organ you think the cell is individuals members of the congregation okay what do you guys think the other ones are what is the tissue the tissue is a group of cells a group of cells make the tissue so what is the tissue
cell groups. Then, what is the organ? <laughs> Interesting. We could see, we could probably see the, all the leaders and elders, leaders of department, literally. But anyway, this is just, it's, 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 <laughs> it's not supposed to be like something that you have to, you know, be moving on with, please. If the Holy Spirit says use it, but mm, <laughs> it was just, it was just we exercising our brain. Um, anyone has anything to say? I see Ashley is shaking her head very much. She doesn't have anything to say. Yes, right. He needs the mic. You can hear me? Okay. Um, there's there's a part whereby you were talking about uh oh please let me not forget <laughs> i have to remember this but what what i picked from the statement was if okay yeah if people people who move from like one uh one fellowship to another and to another Solely maybe because you are you are judging the acts of people. This is what stood out to me. Like, what if God would be like, ah, you know, today let me start with Ashley, right? Then they do two days. Then after forty eight hours, it's like, ah, Ashley is inconsistent. Let me leave her. Let me move to Marvin. And Marvin, from morning to lunch time, is like, ah, Marvin, ah. This is a no go. <laughs> I see no future. <laughs> it's like uh, you, you, it's like your destiny has been hijacked. Like uh, I, c I can't do anything with you. You get it? Like he is so patient. Like no matter how how bad you think you could be, he is so patient with you. So. For me, like I was thinking, like it also has to apply to us as individuals of the church, as members of the body of Christ. The same way you, he, I think Psalms uh, one one forty five, where he sp speaks about how God is slow to anger, he speaks about his compassion, uh, how he's compassionate. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's the same way we should be seeing other um, members of the body of Christ. I think it's the like when when in, in in New Testament where it says if the end says that uh, I'm I'm, I'm trying to remember the face but I can't really remember it very well but it's one of way, those whereby you know your part right but you don't judge the other person beside you that uh like they're not really doing well the same way God is patient with us with how bad we could be He still comes comes back to more and it's like a Let's 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 continue from where we left from. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Anyone else wants to share? Those of if you don't have anything to share, please say no so that we can just move on.
Amen. Okay, I believe no one no one else has anything to say. Um and uh the last thing I just want to talk about is support. It's support. Um we support each other. We support each other. Um let's say that Ashley has a a business where she's selling heels. <laughs> heels that spread the gospel. Hmm? <laughs> now and um we need to build each other up if you could share that link on probably on your whatsapp status where you are supporting each other you're not bringing it you're not bringing each other down because probably this person is doing something better than you you just want to bring them down you just want to bring them down but then we do not do that but then we love one another we support one another we support what each one is doing and we encourage each other if you are going to give an advice to someone or if you're going to say something make sure that it's you use your words wisely criticize contra- constructively do not criticize to crush someone down words ca- it's not only knives and guns and weapons that could kill someone your words could crush someone's spirit down amen so i mean and there'll be times where we might just realize that oh my word crushed someone down as soon as you realize it go speak to the person but first repent before the face of god and go speak to the person amen we need to for god to move we need to be unified we we need to be unified one thing that um i think i i will i learned last week is the fact that revival is the stirring up god god stirring up our hearts god stirring up our hearts it's like in the bible when it spoke about the fact that um the man was um at the place where the angel of god would come and stir the waters and anyone who gets into it will be healed just one person but this is the thing we have the holy spirit moving around and he is unlimited if you believe that you need a stirring up in your life ask for it ask for it ask for it now when we are members of the body of christ and the lord gives us a vision that we need to run with the only way for you to experience it is when you make that conscious decision to tap from it where you are connected to god you are connected to the church you are connected in one body and you make a demand upon that atmosphere you make a demand upon that presence don't ever go to a meeting without having an expectation but then while you have a, an expectation make sure that you are not limited you don't put bo- god in the box amen but then you make room for him to just speak that god i'm going to this place i expect that you d- you would move i expect that you stare up in me but then i do not want you to be limited however you want to move may you move amen however you want to move may you move so i want us to pray since no one has anything to say i want us to pray i want us to pray for each member of the body of christ we want to pray that holy spirit may you be with them may you attend to them some of us may have lost stuff some of us may be going through very heavy burdens that we may not even be able to tell anyone about some of us may be having problems probably with each other or probably at home and things are not very easy some of us have to try to make ends meet i want us to pray for all the members of the body of christ anyone that you know anyone that comes to mind i want you to pray for them and as you are praying you should understand that god will answer as you are praying understand that god will answer god will do what he has to do in our fellowship god will do what he has to do concerning every member 
concerning every member probably people that have even gone home that you have an idea about probably people that are going through anything anything god is not limited he can do everything there's nothing impossible for him we just need to let him know that he can move in our lives so heavenly father we pray god that may you move in our fellowship i commend each and every individual who is under Wendry international christian fellowship father i pray oh god that as we are together i pray that you stir up our hearts may there be a stirring up in our heart in each and every member may that stirring up rub off on other people that are not part of us that may it rub off on each and every individual anyone we meet our friends our classmates people that we interact with father we believe that this revival is your move it's your move and father we pray oh god that things that we are not clear about may you give us clarity things that we do not understand may you give us understanding things that we need to lose and may you help us lose it for the things that we need to let go may you help us let go of it heavenly father we are praying oh god i pray for every single person who feels that they are not spiritually capable capable or anyone who feels that they are spiritually weak for that broke god that you encourage them i pray god that you give them your strength i pray that you give them your joy i pray that you give them your grace i pray that you give them your power Father, anyone who wants to go deeper in their knowledge of you, may you give them more depth in, in the knowledge of you. May they understand, may there be an increase in knowledge of oh God. Father, may people continue to f- experience your nature, your nature, oh God. I pray, oh God, for every single th- person in this place, every single person in the fellowship. I commit each and every family into your hands, oh God. Whatever each family is going through, may you be with them. People that have to work, people that have to do what they have to do to make ends meet. Father, I pray, God, that you you help them find the right way to do the things that they have to do, oh God. Father, may you continue to lead your people. May you continue to lead our hearts in everything that we do. Heavenly Father, we thank you, oh God. We thank you for your fellowship. We thank you for your people. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for the role of each and every individual. We thank you for every single thing that everyone has to play. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise your name and we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, I think um, a tick on Zoom. <laughs> That their zoom name it says that being liable for one another because when one part of the body is hurting the whole body is affected amen um so uh we thank god for today um so next week we, we will be speaking about gifts and as the spirit leads there will be an angle that will be um spoken about but then um it's still about the kingdom of god amen and the kingdom business and who we are so if you feel like there's someone who needs more understanding on gifts or someone who feels that they have questions you can just um invite them and questions if you have questions think about it um through the week if you have questions um things that you need clarity on the holy spirit will be answering your questions amen so you just bring them here and yeah yeah god bless you guys and um say hi to someone you know <laughs> but um shall we share the grace May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And guys, check up on each other. Amen.